hello team and welcome back to the channel so before starting the video a small request to you guys uh, please subscribe to the channel we are very close to 1000 subscribers also i upload videos on daily basis at 9 am in the morning okay so if you are interested in devops tools and technologies then you can subscribe to the channel okay now coming to today's topic so as you know that i always show implementations mostly on a, 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 like a ubuntu machines linux based machine or like windows machine okay so actually i have a aws free tier account using which i can create uh, like different machines for lesser cost okay so what i want is you should also create a free tier account on aws okay and it is basically like free for free for one year and one year is a lot of time for learning things okay so in this video what i am going to show you is how you can create windows and ubuntu machine or linux any other linux machine and start implementing things okay so you can see like for a free tier account it's uh, lots of free trials and it's like for 12 month free okay and there are certain services uh, which will be always free okay and then we have on free trial lots of like uh, like uh, space uh, for database it's like 20, uh, 25 gb okay so lots of things which you can go through if you want but my suggestion is like just create a free account it does not cost anything okay even if you start creating bigger resources it, it will cost like less than 500 a month and just consider it a cost for your own learning okay okay now coming to how we are going to create resources okay so the main resource that is most used in aws is vms virtual machines which even i create on daily basis okay okay so what we are going to do first of all once you have created the account you can just go to search and search uh, type here ec2 okay once you type here ec2 the search should uh, provide you the results okay so this is the ec2 okay you can see here so if i click on it it will open all the resources that are inside this uh, ec2 okay so it has uh, instances key pairs and security groups okay so for our like uh, uh, for our our convenience the most useful resources is instance security groups and key pairs okay so first of all like uh, in security groups this is the place where like uh, whatever ports that will be open on your virtual machine is set up okay so for my case like uh, uh, by default like there will be one port but you can create your own based on the requirement so since i like uh, uh, deploy applications and use docker also so to access applications on different ports so i have just created few of these ports which i use on regular basis okay in case you want to open a new port you can click on edit inbound rules and here you can add okay also if you want to delete you can click on delete save rules and it will be done okay so first thing like you can use the default also but in case the requirement is different you can create your own uh, security group then we can start creating the instances instances basically nothing but the virtual machines okay okay so i'm going to create windows machine as well as the linux based ubuntu machine okay so first for that what we will do we will click on launch instances click on that and here you can provide any names for example like uh, let's provide ubuntu for the ubuntu machine scroll down and here application and os images okay so basically this is the place where you will select the os image which you want to use so for my case i will use ubuntu first select it and here uh, for the like uh, which server you want so usually the latest is 22.4 but my suggestion is to use 20.4 the reason i say that because previously i was using 22.4 but like at some places like there were problems occurring okay for like installing different things or uh, like that so i always go with 20.4 okay then scroll down and here instance type so it like def it provides the information like how much resource your vm will be having by resources like how many cpu how many uh, ram of memory will it will be having okay so see you can see like free tier option is available which will have one cpu and one gb memory so for just test purpose if you want to create one you can go with that but sometimes when you want to like deploy or build a full fledged applications you need more resources okay so for that either you can go with the uh, small or usually with medium okay so for example i will go for now for t2.medium with this will be having two cpu and four gb memory okay then scroll down now here for authentication purpose like to access the machines you 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 need to have a key pair okay so as of now you can see like one key pair already have created but since if you are doing it for the first time you can click on create new key pair as soon as you click here you need to provide a name for example i will call it key dash 2 
sorry about that mm, key dash two okay and here key pair type rsa leave it as that and private key format so for, uh, we will select dot pem format okay then click on create key pair key pair will be uh, like created and it will be downloaded on your machine local machine okay then we have network settings so always like click on select existing security group so whichever you have like created or the default one you can choose that okay so here uh, i select that select existing security group then here i select the one so in my case i have this my own okay i will select it and here you, how much storage you want so if you are just doing it for test purpose 8 gb is more than enough okay so uh, for now let's just keep it as 10 okay and rest uh, if advanced details usually i don't go here because uh, this much information is enough to create a, a vm machine virtual machine okay and here in case you want the multiple virtual machines of the same uh, configuration you can just put the number of uh, here number of instances so for now for ubuntu machine i will just keep it as one okay then we will click on launch instance okay so you can see it is it is saying success success if you go back here uh, let me uh, set the filter to running instead state to running okay so see it is still in pending state it takes like one or two minutes uh, maximum to get started okay okay you can see it is now running so i will just put a filter here running yeah so we can see our machine is running now okay okay meanwhile it is getting started i will launch the windows machine also then we can ask, try to access both the machines with the uh, at the same time okay so here i will provide the name as windows scroll down and here we will select the os image is windows here okay and yeah see this this thing now we will always select the uh, free tier version okay also see uh, my suggestion is do not always select the latest version okay go with little less version so i will go with server 2019 okay okay now for instance type uh, let's select uh, how much this one t2 medium okay and here key pair see now as you can see here since we just created another key so that key is visible here so we will select that okay and this key will be used for authentication okay for network again the, uh, we will use the one that we have uh, created okay and see this is like a 30 gb is minimum requirement if you go below and click on launch instance it will fail so just to avoid i will create 35 okay click on launch instance Okay, you can see this is also success so if we we'll, if we go to instances here and uh, this is also in pending okay about this one like this one i just created before so just two of the resources are here main uh, let me refresh the page so that both the machines can get started and doo -doo 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 -doo. okay so meanwhile this uh, windows machine is getting started what we can do we can start accessing our ubuntu machine okay okay so you might have known that usually everyone suggests like use putty for accessing a virtual machine but my suggestion is that always go with mobile xterm there is a tool known as mobile xterm so this link will be in the description you can just uh, download it from there the thing is that uh, let it open first uh, um, yeah both the instances are running now okay see Mobile Storm is a, like a very like really good application which I am using for like more than two years at this point and there is a home edition which is completely free you can just download it and install it on your machine okay so once you are done that done with that you can just uh, access the, the see for example in my case I have installed this machine and this is the exe file so if I just double click on it machine will get started okay okay so yeah now you can see ubuntu machine and windows machine both both are up and running now so let's start by accessing the ubuntu machine let's click on it and here this is the public ip address which will be the uh, main ip address used for accessing the vm okay and you can see okay let me just close and start this ubuntu uh, mobile storm again so i can just double click on this and it will start the machine you can see mobile storm started okay you can see as of now it's like completely empty so to like connect to a virtual machine for the first time you can click on session and here select ssh and here we will provide the uh, ip address and here we need to provide a uh, username 
see if you are creating ubuntu machine uh, username in ubuntu is ubuntu if you are creating like uh, uh, ec2 machine then it will be ec2 dash user something like that okay so we will provide the username as ubuntu and here click on advanced ssh settings and here select use private key so you remember like we created a private key which was known as key to pm pm okay select click on that select it click on open and just click okay okay and you can see it it automatically started and the machine is connected now so if i just clear the screen and you can become sudo su as like root okay in case uh, also like you can see all the folders that is present now you can see on the left side in case you want to go and make some modifications on the machine you can right click on it click on rename just to rename for example my dash vm i want to provide the name okay and if you want to provide different color on this tab as of now it's like gray or black we can select anything for example let's select this uh, green and click ok okay so saved it if i just close this now and now at this point everything we have configured so we just need to double click on my vm if i double click on it you can see it the connection to vm has done i can type uh, control l to clear the screen then let's become sudo su okay now whatever we want we can do for example like uh, i want to uh, update the packages so we can run the command as apt sorry 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 apt get update okay and it will start working okay okay team so once we have successfully connected our ubuntu machine next we can try to connect to windows machine okay so let's click on the instance id and first of all we need to copy the public ip address okay copy the ip address go back here one second let me close this one let me remove this session yeah okay so for windows machine we will again click to session and here you will see rdp click on that remote host okay and let it be now what we need to do is click on connect here okay and then we will select rdp client and here you can see you may not be able to connect with this instance as port 3389 may need to be opened that means whenever you are creating a windows machine the port 3389 needs to be opened okay so how we will do that so we will uh, right click and open the ec2 page and here we will go to our security group the one that we have we are using and as of now you can see like there is no 3389 port so we will click on edit inbound rules okay click on add rule here provide the detail as 3389 and here i will just keep it open click on save rules okay so this part done and the best part like for security groups it automatically updates once you save it okay you don't need to restart your vms for the changes to take effect okay now coming back here to our uh, windows machine rdp client okay so first of all we will copy the username ip address already we have shared next we just need to provide the password so for password we will click on get password okay and as you remember that we just created a new key which was key dash 2 so we need to upload that key here to create a decrypted password so we click on upload private key file click on this key dash 2 pem and open okay then we need to create a decrypted password so for that we will click on decrypt password okay scroll down and copy the password and here just click ok and here it will ask for password we will push it and click ok and that should, that should start connecting to the windows machine and let's see ok so to do, to do, to do, yeah. do you want to save password for now i don't let's see how much time does it take to completely boot it up okay meanwhile you can see like at least our ubuntu machine is up and running fine okay so whatever we want to install and all we can do it here for windows machine yeah that also got started now okay so before you start using your windows machine one thing that you need to do is search, go to search then search for okay it is little slow see in case of windows machine the thing is more resources it will need definitely because it has proper ui also 
and minimum storage you just saw it was requiring 30 GB even though I gave 35 still you can see it is little slow so we'll click here in search and search for um, server server manager we want to search for okay search for that click and open the server manager the reason that I wanted to show you something I want to go to this server manager is because in case we want to browse to internet without making some certain changes we won't be able to use browser okay for example let's say uh, let me type download ask me let uh, yeah here I will type download uh, Jenkins okay click enter do not show me this warning some error with see you can see internet explorer whole thing is blocked completely okay so just to fix that thing open the server manager then go to local server then you will see this option IEE sorry IE enhanced security configuration okay as of now it, you can see it is turned on so you click on it so we will turn off for all the users administrator and users click okay 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 okay, okay. i think it is done just to uh, confirm you can check one more time server manager close this one local server yeah you can see it is off now so now if we open the uh, internet explorer search for like download sorry about the spelling download Jenkins and now it should not be giving us error so you can see see for Windows we if you want to download you can just click on Windows and you can see download has started okay also like VMs inside uh, like AWS Amazon VMs they give like really good speed so that is also a good part let me just cancel it because we don't need it okay okay so i hope this video was useful and i hope now you understand like how to create vm how to access it and how to start implementing the videos that aditya shows okay so it's everything it's uh, for your own good the more you learn more you'll be having knowledge and more you can grow in devops field okay so have a nice day and thanks for watching